Hi everyone, uh, I'm Daniel from Vault Wallet. Uh, today I'm gonna be talking about how Vault Wallet is revolutionizing the blockchain wallet infrastructure. So a little bit about myself before I get started. Um, I went to UT, um, graduated with my uh, bachelor's and master's in electrical engineering. Um, so hook them. Um, after that, I um, worked for this company called Emulex, designing network interconnects. So my background's in hardware. And following that, I worked for ARM designing CPUs. Um, so I worked on a couple of cool projects um, in the high performance computing space and also in security. So there's some cool stuff coming out in hardware uh, that you guys will see in the next couple of years. So I co-founded Vault Wallet with Corey and uh, Rahul. Uh, Corey's over here in the back. Um, he's the president. He um, is um, head of all the operations, takes care of the biz dev side has a lot of experience in uh, the consulting space. And Rahul is a technical lead. Um, he's architected the application and our infrastructure that we're building. So two of the major challenges um, in the blockchain space, um, myself, I got into the space back in 20, uh, 2017, um, pretty late, but went into the rabbit hole and learned about the technology. I was fascinated with how it's changing the way we trust. So it's getting rid of the middlemen, it's peer-to-peer -peer financial transactions, and it's very valuable, I think, in a global scale. But the main problem is, um, I've found, and our co-founders here at Vault Wallet, is user experience and security. So currently, the user interface looks kind of like this. It's a, there's a random string of characters that's human unreadable, and that's what's used to send a transaction. So who here has tried to send a transaction uh, but has to, had to verify the public address two or three times before they did? Pretty much, uh, yeah, a lot of you. If you guys have used it, you've done it because you wanna you want make sure that your, your money's safe and you're sending it to the right person. So the user experience is very lacking. It's like we're in the 90s. We're still using IP addresses. And that's what we're changing here at Vault. So Vault, well, at Vault Wallet, we pioneered a decentralized universal wallet that, is, has a, you know, that has an intuitive user experience without compromising security. So we built a wallet that has searchable contacts, kind of like Venmo or PayPal. So we have a contact management service. So you can actually add a connection, you can uh, share your wallets that you want to share, and don't have to verify which public address. And by sharing, I mean sharing your account address or how someone sends you um, a transaction, not your actual wallet. And security is obviously very important. So we're securing your private keys with a hardware secure element. So what that means is it's, we're pretty much a tether or a ledger, but on your phone. So we're not, we're not a cold storage solution, but we use the same hardware encryption technology as Apple and Google Pay to secure your private keys on your phone. And I'm gonna talk a little bit more about this in a bit. So we're actually, we're a mobile first wallet. We have, we're multi-platform, we're natively built um, for two reasons, accessibility, everyone has a mobile device, and also security. Um, but we have a web interface where you can actually access your accounts, your contacts, your transactions, anywhere you want. So your private keys remain on your phone, but you have access to your account anywhere. So we took a page out of the IoT space, and we're actually using this technology to, that's power efficient and resilient in bad network areas. So if you're getting in an elevator, or if you're in a different part of the world with bad connectivity, we can actually, uh, you can actually still send transactions, accept requests uh, with our technology. So we're using this, uh, come talk to me afterwards, I'm more than happy to talk about it, um, but it's based on WebSockets, so you always are connected to um, the nodes in the back end. And lastly, we're not just we're not just building a wallet for consumers, but also businesses and dApps. So we're like the MetaMask for your phone and for your browser. Um, so we, we can sign transactions on any blockchain. Currently, we're starting with Ethereum and Aeon, and we're planning to, we can integrate public or private networks. So we can sign your transactions and give you low latency access to smart contracts. So security is a topic in itself. This is an entire lecture, but I'm gonna briefly touch on it. 
I'm more than happy to talk to you guys afterwards. Uh, come find me. So when you think about security of a digital asset, you have to first think about what you're trying to protect. So for the average user, trading, sending a transaction, um, accessing a dApp, that's what's most important. So how do we protect against that? And that's what we designed our security model around in, at Vault. So we're using, as I mentioned, hardware secure element, uh, which is called a T. Um, this is on desktops and on your mobile phones, um, called the Trusted Execution Unit to secure your private keys. What that means is, if you don't have your phone and have biometric and password authentication, you can't send a transaction or um, have access to your private keys. So a lot of the wallets these days are on the cloud. They're actually software-based wallets, which are fine. But the problem is there's a huge um, surface area for attack in terms of software. But with hardware, you have to have actually have access to your physical device to unlock your private keys. And that's what we're doing and to protect your wallets and your accounts. And we're also monitoring the OS, obviously. Um, there's an operating system on your phone and you have access to the internet. It's not a cold storage solution. So we're the most secure checkings account. That's what we've built. So we're, you're on the go wallet. You can integrate with your dApps, your businesses, and also send transactions to your friends and peers. So going into, quickly, I'm going to go over the UI. Um, so user experience is huge. And we've done, we've done exactly what I think PayPal and Venmo are, are, have done already, but making it very easy for the blockchain user. So we're changing out the piping where it's very familiar for the user, and they can view all their assets in the portfolio view, have the total, sum, total summary of their accounts, and have also access to their wallets and specific account-specific information as well. And so welcome back to 2018. So you can actually you know, connect with people and not worry about that long string of characters. Um, you can add uh, a connection, as you can see here. Also, check out our demo after this in the back. Um, we have the beta demo we're about to release um, very soon. Um, so you can actually add someone. And the benefit is you can, actually, you can share a wallet with them. You can create a new wallet if you wanted a private wallet between you guys, or you can just share your default wallet with them. So you have access to your privacy, and you can choose how, who you want to share it with. And this also applies to businesses as well, which I'll get into. And transactions are very simple. You simply you know, pick your contact, your speed, and send. You don't have to worry about anything. We take care of it for you. Uh, smart search. So this is a pain point that I've had, and I think it's a little more technical feature, but some customers might really find this valuable, which is right now if you're sending a transaction on different blockchains, there's different block explorers. One for Bitcoin, Ethereum, every single uh, blockchain has its own explorer. So we built in a block explorer to our transaction search. So you can search accounts, contacts on your, on your profile, but you can also search um, block headers and transaction info on any blockchain that we support. So don't go to different websites. Um, you can directly search on our application on our, in our wallet. And the way we make this very seamless is we're actually hosting our own nodes and we index all the blockchains that we're hosting. So it's more performant than actually you running your own, your own node by yourself. And our infrastructure handles everything. Uh, the web interface, so access your account anywhere, like I mentioned before. Simply scan a QR code on the web interface, and then you have access to your accounts, your contacts, everything. And if you start a transaction on the web, what happens is you receive a notification on your phone. It's like a 2FA, two-factor authentication. So you have to approve it and sign the transaction on your phone so your private keys never leave your secure device. And lastly, we're not just a consumer wallet. We built a wallet for businesses and dApps. So this is our main business model. We're a B2B and B2B2C wallet. And we're currently talking to um, a multitude of companies. Um, and hopefully, as we're getting closer to beta, we're going to start licensing our wallet and offering the solution to any companies that need a wallet solution. And currently, we're partnered with Cognita and Aon. And uh, we're working with them as channel partners and helping build their infrastructure out and also the projects launching on Aon. 
So a couple of the example applications would be if you're building an Uber for uh, decentralized Uber, how do you, you know, peer-to-peer -peer transactions between driver and driver, uh, driver and the person driving is going to be very important. And we're actually talking about integrating Lightning Network as well into our wallet because um, obviously right now it's hard to scale transactions. Um, so we're, we're in talks with Lightning Network integration, um, other blockchains, and whatever makes sense for the customer, um, we can integrate easily into our platform. So that summarizes, that's a quick summary of what we're doing here. And we want to make it, the blockchain, very easy to access for businesses and consumers. We want to make it easy to build a, a platform or service on the blockchain. And you can easily license our technology and get, get up and running in a couple weeks. Uh, thank you very much. So right now, there's a couple different models that we have, we've done uh, with our early customers. Um, so typically, what we like to do is have a yearly license or a monthly license. So you have access to our technology for you know, annually over multi, um, multiple years or as, a, as a months go by. So um, it just really depends on what the customer wants. So you're asking about the fiat to crypto. Um, so right now, we don't have a fiat to crypto integration and working on that with a third party customer uh, partner. Um, so that's something that we're definitely want to get, get involved, um, integrated into the wallet directly. So there's a couple, um, good point, there's a couple different things in the pipeline that we've already kind of initiated, which is tax directly from our wallet. We, we're talking to this company called Taxbit, so users can just push of a button, have their taxes done for a flat rate. And then also fiat, fiat to uh, crypto integration. So there's a couple of cool things that we're doing right now, which will be available soon. Yes, yes it is. So I've talked to TrueUSD, and I know there's a lot of them out there as well. So to, I mean, we're in the process of evaluating to see what makes sense to have a fiat, on, fiat coin integration as well. Um, and that would be the easiest way to access, um, I think, fiat. Thank you. Cool, thanks guys.